Are we ready? Are we steady? Let's go. <clears throat> Welcome back, everyone, to the Good Day Podcast. The Good Day Podcast. The Good Day Podcast. Charlie, before you take that sip, sir, <laughs> who have we got in the room with us today? Aoife. Aoife is Aoife. here. Yay. Say hello, Aoife. Woo. Is it short? The, the applause. Oh, okay. The applause, Yay. applause, applause. Do I drink now? Yeah, you can drink. <laughs> Aoife, is this your... What is it? I'm losing count now. Is this your fourth or fifth? Fourth. fourth. Oh, mm, fifth? Fifth? Christ. Yeah. Does fifth? she get a card for attempt time, Jacko? <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> we'll get, we'll there will get not a... be attempt time. Yeah. What? <laughs> you were our first choice to come you on were? today. Oh, really? To you come were? on. Yeah. Who did you go through before Aoife? First after three other people. Yeah, so that's still first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. In some nice regards. Stuff. Still higher than Jacob, so... That is true. And, and other people who shall not be named. <laughs> the who shall not be named. There's a few people who aren't coming on again. Yeah. Bless whoa, you. whoa, whoa. Let's not spill the tea, brother. <laughs> um, <laughs> a fucking hell. Fucking hell. That hurt. Aoife, how have you been? Good. Very good. Good. Yeah. Are you, um? before we get into the, the topics at hand, you've told us you're going to be making some homemade ravioli today. Is that correct? It might not go well, but yes. I am meant to be making homemade ravioli, except I don't have one of those what things. The, the windy things. Yeah, the pasta roll Yeah, things. you didn't know what I was talking Wind about. Wind up, down. Wind... Yeah. Uh, what are they? I don't know what they're called. You, you know, like, you put like the pasta sit, through it. You like grip it on the side of a table oh, and then you go it. like that. With... Oh, oh, and <laughs> yeah, then yeah, it comes and out. It feeds it, yeah. and you feed yes. it through. It thins it out. Yeah, yeah. Are you, so is this really a two-man job though, surely? Well. Unless you're like season and pro. Ravioli is hard to make. So pasta is hard to make in general. Ravioli is it's quite It's not cool. though. It's literally egg and flour. Roll it out really thin. Ravioli, then you cut it in little squares that match up. Put your filling in. Put another one on top. Put a fork around the edge. You've got to make sure they don't break, is my point. Yeah, and you can't so go you just to, don't put much The hardest in. thing is you can't make it too thin or too thick. Well, I'll buy store-bought ravioli as a backup. Okay, there we go. And she knows the insides yeah. of lid also, do you know what I mean? I trust the process. Anyway, please send us a, a picture after so that we can see you completely fail and we can put okay. it on the podcast. I'm looking forward to it, actually. Okay. Hopefully, um, this will be Aoife's shitty radio. I'm a good cook. Oh, sure you yeah, are. Okay. Beans on toast, you know. Whack something in the air fryer. I don't even like beans. You don't what? like beans? No. What? Why? That's strange. Because they're rank. Oh, Americans, sa- again. <laughs> Americans said that. They always say, like, um, you know that TikTok where it's, Oh, that work, and where did it get me? Yeah. It's when the, the UK conquered, like, half the world, and then they eat beans on toast. <laughs> oh, that work, where Baby's did it get me? Babies are grim, though. Sure. They uh, are. Beans. No, they're not. The, nah. Anything Heinz in a can is grim. Like, the sauce. What, the, 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 sauce? the sausage one? What no. Sauce? Oh, no, 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 no. Spaghetti. That's fucking gross. Spaghetti hoops? No. Oh, no. no, no yeah, no, that no, Have you seen the new, um, the new cheesy beans as well? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Really These are good. all... Fantastic no. thing. Anything Heinz does, I could kiss. Literally. I like the soup, but that's it. The soup? Yeah. What's favorite soup? Oh. Heinz or in like general. Heinz. No. I have to say, when we were in um remember when we were in Tesco, when I bumped into you in Tesco and Kayla was buying soup and she picked out three beans. What? <laughs> that was three my beans? biggest judgment. <laughs> Ever. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. She actually. picked yeah, three yeah. beans. Sorry. What, what is did three do? beans? Sorry. Um, yeah. It's a chilli soup. Oh. I'm more of like a sweet potato soup kind of <sighs> person. What? Sweet potato. I don't like sweet potato. Sweet potato. You don't like sweet potato? No, I'm not a fan. It's too sweet. Liam doesn't like it either. I love no. sweet potato. I love sweet potato. It's nice. I just like one of those soups where the, you put a whole roast dinner in. One of them. Just shit loads of like meat. Vegetables, blend it all up. Blend it all up. Oh, no, not a stew. I hate stews actually. I hate soft vegetables. That's really weird, isn't it? Like mm. anything slow cooked, I despise. Yeah, yeah. I would not have a slow cooker. No, nah, it's, it's. I hate slow. That stuff yeah. is rank. If yeah. I've gone through an entire day, a hard working day, big graft, you because you know I work a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I've really gone hard. through a whole day, and then Mum goes, "Oh yeah, we got a stew or something slow cooked." I'm throwing yeah. myself up the nearest building. That's that's just how it is. Fair. That's fair. fair. Right, are we ready to move on? We are. Are we ready? Um, thank you, Dylan Page, for this topic as usual. Uh, Gen Z are actually facing a blindness epidemic. I've not heard about this. Have you not heard, guys? No. no. So the newest generation, fucking iPad kids, 
They're going blind. <gasps> Genuinely. Because. Shock. Do you reckon uh, we'll evolve to be a blind ray? Probably. Nearsightedness has increased by 59% in Gen Z. Is that needing glasses uh, I always, f- I always. F- you can what only see nearsighted if you're nearsighted. Is that no. Right? I always get them mixed up. Short. Okay, so short-sighted, you can only see short. Yes. Long-sighted, you can only yeah. You can't see short. Yes. Yes, okay. So that's increased by 59%. By the way, just quickly on this. Go on. Who in the right mind can see long but not short? That's very that. strange, actually. Yeah. I, I can't you see know, if it's like right there, obviously, but like if it's there, and I can see it there, but I can't fucking see far away. That's normal. My dad's like that, though. But what, he, make can, any he can sense. see long but can't see short? Yeah. That doesn't make any well, sense to me. Well, now that he's older, he can't see either. So he has, like, they gave him, I thought bifocals, I don't know what I thought they were. I thought they were just, like, a magical thing where they just fix your eyes, basically. But they do, no, they do half of the glass. So, say, like, the top half is long for long sight. The bottom half is for short sight. So if he was reading a book, he'd have to look through the bottom half of his glasses. If he was trying to read a sign, he'd have to look through the top half. So what if you're like looking straight ahead and it's just like a mixture? You think that's shit? Yeah. I actually think that's really smart. He said it made him dizzy because he had to look like that all the time. Oh, so you thought it was like a universal, like all in one sort of thing? Yeah, I thought it was just the glasses. Well, that's just curing blindness at that point. (laughs) (laughs) Obviously, it's not going to be that. But it could be, but... Or you could, on the other hand, you could have laser surgery, couldn't you? Risky you wear glasses? No, nah, mm. he does. Do you? Do you? Do Just you? for work. Mm. I recently got given glasses, actually, for work. Did you? Um, yeah, because I get migraines, so they said, uh, I think you need... Yeah, you, you're on a computer, aren't you, all day? Yeah. So am I, but, you know, just mental power, I suppose. Yeah. Sure. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was when I was a kid. Well, everyone did that, you know, when you fake. You fake it, yeah. You fake it. Yeah, well, I had yeah. them in everyone school. Did. Then I went back and they said I didn't need them. Yeah. And then when I just went, they were like, you need a little bit. So yeah. Two, or it could be a Z. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, by 2030, they expect 40% of the global population will be uh, nearsighted. I don't know what the stat is now. That, that should have probably been. I reckon that is about. likely, though. I reckon yeah. we are heading towards everyone wearing glasses. So you've... Or more so like contacts and stuff. Yeah. What yeah. is it that causes... Like it's blindness, though. What blindness? Well, you're either born know. with it or something to do with the reticle, isn't it? Like, is if you it? damage a reticle or anything. Reticle. They call it reticle. It's retina. <laughs> hang on, I'm going to sound reticle. absolutely. Reticles. Are... Reticles. Are... <laughs> isn't that the thing when. In hang your on, ass, isn't it? Is that the reticle? That's what it's called, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It's, yeah. When, yeah. it's when you aim down sights yeah, yeah. in a gun. That's uh, the little aim for yeah. the sight is a <laughs> reticle. The little dot, isn't the it? Little dot. <laughs> <laughs> so I was on the right path. Yeah. So well, sort of. sight. Sort sight. Of. So you think we're actually going to evolve that way? So we're, we're all just going to be like this from now on. You're right, Charlie. Well, if you yeah, just wear glasses. Oh, oh, we'll I think, bit. like, going back like 40 years, <laughs> people weren't on a screen that much, were they? Whereas now, like, no. how much? how much is your, like, day screen time? How many I hours? I don't, don't want to. A lot. Know. Literally Should... a lot. Whereas like 40 years ago, they didn't have mobiles. So. Do you want to pull up both your screen times? And before, you pull the, before you pull them up, before, whoa, 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 okay. calm down, guys. What do you expect your own and each of us? I reckon mine is about seven hours. Seven hours a day? Yeah. Okay. I reckon it's a lot. Because I watch Netflix on my phone all the time. Yeah. Like, if I'm doing work, I'll put Netflix on my phone. That's fair enough. I reckon so you're saying... Charlie's is about five. I reckon four and a half, five. Four or five. Charlie? You're saying mine's about three. Three? Oh. <laughs> mine's a day. Yeah. I know um, mine's going to be about. I'd say yours is about five or six. Yeah. Five or six, so it's like five But, like, day to day, if I'm working, I will watch Netflix on my phone. Yeah. So. I don't know if you, that counts. So, like, when you've got something yeah. in the background, do you know yeah. what I mean? Right, so Aoife, do you want to go first? What what is yours? So you said for yourself seven hours a day, and Charlie said for you five and a half hours a day. Five and a half. It's five and a half. Five hours twenty eight minutes. Well done, brother. Average downtime. We're doing this week. Um, Yeah, this just this week's average. Just this week's average. So you said you know it says daily average. Yeah. You said for yourself three hours a day. Aoife said for you five hours a day. Uh, three hours fifty nine minutes. Oh wow. 
in the middle? Four oh hours. TikTok's oh, terrible. Wow. What's, What's your most TikTok? used? I know it'll be Netflix. My yeah, is oh it? my god. My yeah, Netflix you're... is a lot. You're always on Snapchat though, aren't you? Mine's yeah. Netflix, then Prime Video, because I watched two films this week on Prime. Prime. Oh. <laughs> and then what films are TikTok. Um one was Don't Worry Darling, which I've already seen, oh, but I do really film. like that. Is that it? is a class film. It's a good film. It is really good. Um and then what was the other one? The other one was Oh, anyone but you. I've yeah. Never, it's like a classic one. stereotypic rom com, but it, it was a good. Film. Sydney Swinney, it has to be in a specific mood for a rom com. Oh, I've yeah. got really weird ones. But TikTok. Well, standard. Um calculator. <laughs> How long you how long have you been on a calculator for? One hour forty four minutes. What? On average. Doing what? <laughs> you trying to work out life? What, what the fuck? <laughs> and then uh, Coinbase. One oh, hour twenty four. Uh, <laughs> put it all your money. Is that what you never wait, is that the That's crypto? Yeah. Oh my god. If you're watching this now, whatever you got in your bank account, put it in Sheba and Doge. That's financial intelligence. That is financial intelligence. And disclaimer, we're not financial advisors. Yeah, so That's if you fuck it up. Every crypto um, like influencer, they always go, oh, I'm putting all my money in this. You should put all your money in this. But I'm not a financial advisor. <laughs> it so covers them, though. It covers them. It's like, on, I don't know why my mind's gone to this. But when on, on chocolate packets, they say may contain nuts just to cover their asses. Yeah. That's what they say. It's the same thing, really. Yeah. Lol. Lolage. But yeah, don't know why I was on the calculator for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to work out. Was doing. Binary code or some shit. God knows, man. Here we go. So this then leads me on to the question because Gen Z is obviously fucked up, as we know. Yeah. Um, if you could be reborn into any generation, so let's say reincarnation actually existed, which generation would you be born into and why? Starting Ooh. with anyone who's got the answer. <laughs> I don't know actually. Shall I go first? Shall I go yeah, first? Because I've know. thought about it. You I thought would, about it. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. would say probably 90s specifically in America. That yeah. shit went off. Well, but at least like, it looked like went off. Be like 17, 18. Yeah, yeah, sorry. So, yeah. Well, when would so I be born? born like 70s. 70s, yeah. Like late 70s. Late, yeah, late born. 70s. And when yeah. they've got like all the retro, yeah. oh, the diners and all that stuff. Yeah. That just looks class. It's not like the 50s. Oh, what's it? Well, the yeah. diners would have been the fifties, but they carried on yeah, till, the, uh, till the yeah, 90s. But the party looked better in the nineties, so that's a tough one. I would say fifties, but it was not really a great time in the world. No, so... prob- prob- no, we'll go a little bit later in life. We're so, about l- time, l- late seventies in America. What do you mean? What? 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 The well, fif- obviously, the, fif- the war wasn't in the fifties, mate. <laughs> we'll that, that would have been fun. Everyone celebrating after the war. Yeah. That would be a good time to. To be People, alive. we did that. Just, school, yeah. just there. Remember, we had like a VE day. We had like a massive picnic oh outside. And we playground. had that. Oh my god, what's that thing called? It's like jelly, but blancmange. Is that it? Yeah, blanc yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like creamy jelly. Mm. Sounds gross, but it's quite <laughs> yeah. nice. Yeah, and we had ginger beer, but not beer. Yeah, oh, and that was that. vile. That was gross. Yeah, ginger beer. You what felt a like day. An al- that was a day. That's and a we lot had to dress of up memory. As, um, Evacuees as well. Didn't no, we? that was a different day. Was that a different day? Yeah, we went on a school trip. Yeah, they, they like every so often they play like a, a siren or something. We have to get into the desk. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit too like it was weird. It was and weird. no, and when we left on the bus, all our parents were still outside like waving. Oh my God, it's like Dumbledore's <laughs> and we were, like, army. Evacuees are leaving. What the? F- <laughs> they really want you to go to war or something. You yeah. join a military school. <laughs> <laughs> it was to... fun though. It was, a it good was trip. fun. Yeah. Yeah. What, is what was the question? So, the, uh, the question was, what generation, if you could be reborn, which generation would you choose and why? I think it's boring, but I think I'd be the same as you. The same as me? Yeah. I like, mean, you, could, you can even go back to like Viking times if you want. Roman, fuck that. The Roman no. era. No. One thing that is always life, my is Roman it? Empire, though, is um, Pompeii. Oh, that yeah. the volcano. <laughs> because of, you know, that episode of Doctor Who? Yeah. When he goes back, yeah, that's yeah. always ingrained in my yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you seen? Uh, have you watched Loki as well? The film? No, the series. No, oh, I haven't seen it's it. got it's got something to do Has with it? Pompeii with that oh, as well. Have to watch that's it. good. But yeah, that would be fascinating just to see like a massive natural disaster and then yeah. come out. Yeah, oh, literally. That'd be so cool. I've always wanted to do that. Like, oh witness my god, a natural Go disaster. Okay, that's really not a decade, but... <laughs> I just want to be born <laughs> on the Titanic. Imagine experiencing that, though. Oh. Well, yeah. yeah. And then, like, just watch the not film. Well, you would die. Just well, watch the film. Survive, yeah. She survived. Women and children first. We'd be dead. 
We would. Nah, I reckon I'll, I'll just film the cold. Just... I'll just float, I reckon. Do you know how many ice baths I've took? I'll just say, this is this is sad. <laughs> this is actually sad. Imagine, imagine Wim Hof, he'd look like <laughs> Wim Hof would be like, he, guys, what there. are you doing? <laughs> just survive. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you drowning? <laughs> well, what? That guy's like a weird American Why accent. Why are you drowning? Why are you drowning, guys? <laughs> dude! Now I've gone to Nemo. <laughs> you so totally rock, dude. Where Where is this guy? What? God knows. Oh, okay. yeah. Your, so your generation is the Titanic. Brilliant. Um, <laughs> what's yours? Um... You're not, I've been you're yours. Set. Sorry. Oh, we're all boring. <gasps> huh? we yeah, all we're boring. The same. Yeah, like just like, but it would be around fun. our age in like the 90s. Yeah. I just really want to twist and dance, you know. That it's... was really not the 90s. No, it was not. The 90s. That would have been like the 60s. Yeah. We're more the 60s. Well, maybe I'll say like, yeah. 60s then, because I'm I'm describing the 60s, aren't I? Like, Basically, don't, yeah. Dinosaurs. Yeah, 50s, 60s. That would be cool though. It would, yeah. I'll yeah. go f- I'll change my answer to 50s and 60s. You two peasants. Can go in the nineties. So I just feel just like do we are in the worst generation. Hundred percent. Oh, we are. Yeah. But I also hate you know? the the like technology age that we are in. Wait. I'm not a fan of it. But it's here to stay. I, I think. know. That's I know. Way, it's I, only going to get more. Yeah, in that direction. That's why you got to put all your money into fetch AI. <laughs> fetch AI. <laughs> fetch AI. Should fetch, uh, fetch, fetch AI. It's actually up today. So <sighs> you say this is like the worst generation now, but I feel like the people in the 50s and the 90s, they probably thought the same. And then it's when you look back. Yeah. Because that's what nostalgia is. But then I kind of hate our generation because, like, everybody is Ooh. very... <laughs> I'm <laughs> hungry. <laughs> Carry on, Tom. Every, like, everyone's phone obsessed. Yeah. They are. Says but... the woman he has. I know, no, that's what I mean. Yeah. Like, I Seven am. Hours. To be fair. No, I know. five and a half, sorry. But yeah. So I think you are right though. People say it all the time, but it's just nostalgia. Like yeah. you said, people get blinded by nostalgia. Yeah, because one we'll day look back and go, we'll look back on this, this specific <laughs> moment, this podcast right now, and we'll be going, ah, oh, prime time. I remember when we wanted to live in the Titanic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. God, we Crazy. were so silly back then. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh. anyway. Uh, okay, so we've done what generation, but. I always find this question fascinating. Um, and it tells me a lot about the person, you know. Ooh. Reincarnation, but you also get the choice of gender. Which one would you want to come back as and why? A female. You're a female? Yeah. You so- it sounds really silly, but you'll be surprised how many people say, like, the opposite gender. Uh, I think it would be cool to like, experience the opposite side. It would, yeah, because yeah. it'd be, like, if you lived a day... In the life of a woman. A day in the life would be good. Oh, but I don't know like a little vlog. If, if I'd hate it. <laughs> day in the life as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know if, what you'd if hate. I'd hate. You think it, you'd I'm hate not... it? No, I, wouldn't, I don't know yet. Though, do I? But I don't want to like take that risk. I know what you mean. Yeah, because yeah. then you've got a whole life of it. A whole, whole life of periods and yeah. Yeah. all that sort of shit. Don't know if I could be after I feel that. like you wouldn't know though because like, you might love being a woman. That's the thing. But you you're never going to know. You really empowering. Maybe. Yeah. No, I, I mean, maybe not in the in the fifties. Yeah, maybe but not in the fifties. You're what? I reckon I'll be a feminist. Yeah, hundred percent. If you go in, a, you've got to go aren't all the we way. All... Oh yeah, sorry. No, <laughs> yeah, now, yeah, sorry. Yeah, we are. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I you come women. you you come back as a female. Yes. Yes. Um, what what we... female in history would you come back as? <gasps> got to be. Uh, to, mm. What's her name? Yeah. Mother Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> Tutankhamun. What? Is she a woman? No. No. <laughs> Cleopatra. I don't know Cleopatra, actually. There's loads. Huh? There is tons know. of women you can Why? choose. Why would you go? Probably who would you go back as? What as a woman? Yeah. Yeah. As a woman. Imagine being Margot Robbie. Mary Berry. But would you rather not oh, be her one. husband? Oh. Reincarnate as her husband. I thought this was like female only, but. No, because you said <laughs> to me, what woman? Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you, do you uh, what man, man then? Uh, what yeah. man for us? What would you say? Well, I'd... just any person. Oh, any, oh, any person. person. That's um, what you asked me. Yeah, sorry. Hmm. It would be quite cool to be Leo. Donald Trump. Oh, Christ. Christ. You've got the hair for it. but <laughs> fuck? you got the skin tone for it. <laughs> you look <know>, orange. <laughs> <laughs> Probably am actually. <gasps> no. Uh, I would like to be Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Actually, no. But then he isn't living his best life right now, is he? Is he not? What? We just keep dating like 20, 12, 
12 two girl. year old. He's, his da- he's age got a good life. He has dated one woman over 25. Yeah, his good whole him. life. Really? He's yeah. like, don't know that. how old is he now? We like 55. Young, I didn't realize that, though. Yeah, older. Yeah. And he's only dating women under 25. He's and then when they get I mean? past 26, <laughs> when 25, they get broken up with. Really? Is that what his, his cut off If you look at his dating history, yeah. He's like, oh, he's only dated one close. woman when, she, like, that's that was twenty six. Checking in his head, he's like going back to primary school maths. You know, when you round up when it gets to five, like, oh, yeah, they're too close to too thirty odd. now. Cross. Yeah, he um dated Logan Paul's fiance. No, Did he? Not before, obviously. Yeah, well, obviously. not now. <laughs> not now. <laughs> Did he? No way. She, yeah. I've heard she's been around the block. Like, no oh, offense to her. Like, she has. Yeah, well, I can remember all that stuff with Dylan Dennis. Yeah. That that stuff went down, didn't it? You got taken to court but to that, answer your question, it would be um, oh, Mike Tyson, I'd say. Imagine being Mike Tyson. That is good. Yeah. Also, I'd rather Ma- be Adam Sandler. You love Adam you Sandler. Do, really? yeah. I do love Adam I saw Sandler. Him, have you seen that video of him <laughs> playing basketball yeah, in London? Yeah, I reposted that on TikTok. Did you? He was just in what? some random, like, leisure centre playing basketball with a load of kids. In London? Let me show you he the loves, video. He's actually really good as well. I literally he just is, liked yeah. it. It was this kid and he was like, is that Adam Sandler? Really He's like, I'm in the ends. There's no way this is Adam Sandler. <laughs> what the fuck is he wearing? I love him. <laughs> that made me laugh. Though. What the hell? It's the fact that he's, he's literally just in. Someone commented he's doing side quests. Yeah, yeah. yeah at, at this, this point. point, yeah. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. He's yeah. so what? Rich. Yeah. Well, he just like produces all of his own films, and then because he's Adam Sandler, they just make loads of money, don't they? Yeah, yeah. So. they could be like the world's shit film. But he's in a new one actually coming out. Is it in March? Oh yeah, oh, it's, March. Like, yeah, it's, it's coming out. Oh, it's already yeah, out. Just... It came out in March. <gasps> Sorry, well, I was an emotional February. roller coaster. That was <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is it called? Um, I think mean, Space Man. I think. Oh, I've I saw yeah, a trailer. Yeah, but... it's a bit with well, some it's spider. Liam yes. thought it looked really good. I don't think he might did. be watching that tonight. Actually, he's moving out of like comedy films, wasn't he? Really? So he did that maybe. one, that uncut gems. That was a bit too serious for him. I don't like that. I don't like. When... Yeah, maybe he wants to be a serious actor. Well, he's left a bit late to become a serious actor, hasn't he? Really? Don't say that because you can become. Because no, he's actor one of those people that he plays the same character in, in every single film, but and I can't I think, see him as anything else. I genuinely else. think he plays himself. No, he does. Oh, 100%. Yeah, so... There's so many of those, like, Ron Reynolds, Ke- Kevin Hart. Can you call Kevin Hart an actor? Yeah. Kevin Hart, The Rock. Yeah. All of them, they just play themselves. They do. Hilarious, obviously. Yeah. And you know what you're getting into. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but true. when they try and branch out, like Charlie said, I, it's a little bit cringe, I There's find There's only it. a few actors, it depends, I think, that are actually good in different roles. Timothy Chalamet. No. Oh, no, he's so no, shit. No, he's not. What? He's not a good actor. Florence Pugh. She's very She's good. She's very mm. good at... She does different roles. Like, yeah. Doesn't Matthew speak. McConaughey. Yes, yes. he's really good actually because he plays like some really serious roles. Mm. I loved him in Interstellar. Inter- yeah. Oh god, that's what a good great film. film. I watched that for the first time like two months ago. Same, and it was unreal. It's confusing, isn't it? No, not really. Uh, uh, think... It was a bit when he was first in the library bit at the end. Uh, not the library, but he was in. Stupid. You know when he was in the book. What? Oh, I, was, I got quite confused. Did you? Uh, no, I, I didn't. Well, I it thought... was, but then I was like, oh, well, it's obviously like. Yeah, the, the time. Well, it sort of thing. explained but itself. But I, I as did it kind went. of hate the ending because I, did I'm it? a sucker for a happy ending. It sort of was happy though. Yeah, but his daughter was de- like dead. She was so old. Yeah, but she also like <laughs> she was. She also <laughs> saves the human race because yeah, it came like full. But then su- they live on that like weird upside down planet. Mm. I quite liked it. I feel like that's the way I was going to go. I'm just a sucker for a happy ending. Like, uh, if he went back in time magically, yeah. I would- <laughs> He went into a different black hole that put him back yeah. in time. I'm that type of person. I like how everyone now thinks they could just like go through a black hole and that's what happened to them. Yeah. Realistically, yeah. they get fucking you, ripped into spaghetti yeah. and die straight away. Well, can you remember that episode of Phineas and Ferb where they went into the, um, <laughs> the time You just referenced thing? Phineas and Ferb. Can you, can you remember that? <laughs> no. They went into like, the time, I don't know what they call it, like, they like a little worm thing in space. And yeah, you go through it. and, and they're all flying around A wormhole. It. Yeah. yeah, and he, they just like, it's like time travel. Yeah, but Man. Phineas and Ferb also built how many things in their back garden. It's not really the... Uh, who Most needs, logical. Yeah, who needs TV? science what and education fuck? when you got Phineas and Ferb? I they can, if they, they can, any, they can do anything like that they put their mind to. So yeah, why are you trying to put Phineas and Ferb yeah. down? No, I'm just saying, how realistic is it? 
quite realistic, actually. This is just because you remind me of Phineas. You're taking offense to it. You're, you're saying, yeah, you've said this before. He I remind really me of reminds me of Phineas. It does a little. Who you would you say? You could be to his Phineas. No, Jacob's okay. fair. Hundred years. Jacob is fair. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> he is. He's Phineas. Jacob's fair. Why am I Phineas? You have got like a sort of like a triangle, triangle in the face. Yeah. <laughs> I would say you that. Do, I don't know why. And then Jacob... you always reminded me of him. <laughs> That's I've never found thing, a verb though. till you said Jacob. Jacob is because he's just he's Aww. tall up there. And he's like, oh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not as quiet as verb. International Women's Day. Uh, was it yesterday? It was yesterday. It was yesterday. Happy International Women's Day, even though um, it was yesterday. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. That was a world <laughs> shitty handshake, by the way. Bryce, you're cold. I'm warm. Are you warm? I always have cold hands. You've not I like that you shook hands to find out if it was warm then. <laughs> did you know from facts you probably did know and everyone knows by now the most searched term on International Women's Day no have a guess International Women's Women. Day women let, let her go on women no <laughs> what is it the most searched term on International is it International Women's Day no. International Men's Day there you go I googled that yesterday did you yeah because yeah. I was telling everyone at work that it was International Women's Day because they obviously didn't care. Yeah. Um, and then they were like, someone was like, oh, well, is there an International Men's Day? <laughs> oh, I, was like, I was like, yes, no. there is. And then I is Googled it? it. When is it? Yeah. I think it's the 19th of November. It's November. I think, so, yeah. I think it's the 19th. Sure yeah, so that's actually, how, how funny is that on International Men's Day? It doesn't even surprise me because I guarantee that's why people Google it because of what I did. Yeah. When you have to say, yeah, there is an International Men's Day. This is the day. Yeah. I think the only reason you you don't realise about Men's Day. Well, when is Father's Day actually? Sorry, before June. I... Yeah, June. that's why. Because like Mother's yeah. Day and International Women's Day are very close. No, so m- m- all men are like, "What have they got two days right next yeah, to each other?" Probably. That's men prob- are just miserable. So. Would you agree? You're miserable, actually. I am miserable. Can I not yeah. be a part of that? Because <laughs> well, you do get miserable. Yeah, you probably just... I do, yeah. I can't imagine... Can you imagine... Because you're like this now. Imagine you when you're like 60. You're going to be in a bungalow yeah. with you a You know ma- who you're going to be? Go on. The one from up, up yeah. before the end. You're going to be yeah. him at the start when he's But horrible. who's going to be your... Who's the little kid? What's his name? Chuck, is it? <laughs> not Chuck. Russell. Isn't Russell. It? Yeah, I knew he was an Who's going to be the Rally? Russell to you? Do you want me to just come by when you're 60? <laughs> yeah. You'll be there with your walking stick as well. <laughs> no, but you're going to have a massive window in a bungalow right next to a school just so you can go, damn kids! Yeah, you probably Fuck would. <laughs> Fuck, you would stop choose to live somewhere where you could complain about something. <laughs> well, you can't come to my house, you're you gonna can't turn, go near a school. Tyler, you're going to turn into um, Stephen. Hawkins. No, I'm not. Why did I say that? Why did I say that? Sorry. St- uh, Stephen. <laughs> Do you, oh, God, imagine Steve when he's 60. I don't think, I think his stress levels and his cholesterol won't make yeah. it that age. No, because no. he's very healthy, very active. I know he obviously goes gym quite yeah, a lot. He, does, yeah. he goes to the gym about video. three times a day. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. he gets stressed a lot. Do you know what I mean? I don't think... He does. Uh, he, he does. does very easily. But not, I feel like he's so relaxed at work. Oh, and it? then I think we stress him out. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like he's so calm at work. <laughs> How about the opposite? Yeah, so yeah but I feel like he's probably not like he that. He loves work too I f- much. I feel yeah, like but this his is well, loose. mental and emotional age is higher than ours. A lot higher. Which is why we probably irritate him. Because when he younger. sees us, mm. it's like hanging around kids. Yeah, which is fair so, enough. Because he's going to get annoyed. <laughs> it is. And he is, like in my mind, I see him as a 40 year old man. Yeah. We do get too excitable as well sometimes. Yeah. I know I do. When we're in like snobs or something and like everyone's there, I get touching really excited. Yeah. And I start like just bouncing off the walls and shit. And then just touching it. He yeah. hates when people oh. touch his ass. I mean, kind of fair. I remember, I remember the time he came up to me and you. Um, we first got there and he's like, oh, I'm off. They just keep touching my ass and I just sort of oh, leave yeah. straight away. And I was like, okay. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Representing hmm. the men here though. Because yeah. if you touch a woman's ass that much, you'd be in jail. But you not, guys touch his butt. Not even that much. Probably once. Yeah. You probably would. Well, but, most no, of the time you get away with yeah, it, Yeah, you do, you? yeah. My bad. Do you? What? Do you get away with it? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I've just turned into Ferb. What? <laughs> Is it Ferb or Finn? Yeah, Ferb. Ferb. Have you been watching Celebrity Big Brother? No. I no? Have. I'm you a have? few episodes behind. Yeah, I'm one episode behind now. But Ek and Sue from Love Island. Oh, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. She asked, do you think... Um, the man should be more into women, more into the woman than the woman should be into the man in terms of relationships. Because she said that her and Davide, the reason it didn't work 
was because she was more into him. Do you think the man should be more into the woman or the woman more into the man? Mm. In your opinion. I think that a man should be more into a woman. Okay. For it to work at the start because... Mm. Women, I think, take longer mm. yeah. to, but they'll be consistently yes. into you. Whereas I feel like a man is they're into you for a shorter amount of time. Oh, okay. I don't know. I feel like I'm. You're talking to someone that has only ever been with one person. One. Like yeah, I haven't dated still, around. You still have an about Jake. <laughs> <laughs> he was more into me than I was to him. Oh, there you go. I mean, that that's that didn't work out. Jacob. I didn't know. So, Actually, no, Jacob. Are you talking about like Morgan. in a relationship oh, though, or like when you go on a date? More so for a relationship to work long term, I suppose. Mm, I think you have to be both into each other the same amount. You do. Oh, I would say so. Yeah, yeah but, definitely. But if you, I don't know though. Speaking very generally here, if Liam wasn't in, if I knew he wasn't into me as much as I was into him. Then I'd feel really like insecure about it, and it wouldn't work. Yeah. So, I think you have to be equal. Oh well, yeah, but who do you? F- uh, yeah, but normally you have to have like they say in a relationship, you have to have the adorer and the person who adores. Do you know what I mean? What's that even mean? So someone who that rece- means the same thing. Yeah. The adorer. Oh, sorry. The adorer and the uh, does it? The pers- so, someone person that adores receive- you and someone that's being receives adored. the adorness. Yeah. Receives. Yeah, receives. Uh, Shit. Do you speaking know, very generally, I think men should be more adoring. Adoring. Because generally, women probably do more for them. Yeah. Like. Doggy. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you try. You try so hard to have a serious conversation <laughs> and then you ruin it. <laughs> You're right, Juicy. Oh, God. <laughs> I think you know when you the really juicy falls work. You're reading the just questions. Won, you're really trying <laughs> to make it talking. deep. That's terrible. What about anal? <laughs> no. Blow jobs. If, 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 I'm sure, sure. I might have to cut that. No, it's no quite, it was quite doggy. funny. Doggy. Leave it. It was quite was funny, funny, but I, I couldn't help but not say it. Yeah. But what was the actual point? I was going to say. Yeah, sorry. Do oh, stuff really? like cooking dinner. <laughs> Oh, oh! Women do stuff like cooking. Dinner. Yeah, I was gonna say like women on in general probably do like you probably find seventy five and a more percentage of women do more acts of service. Yes, for their boyfriend. So you feel like it's so men should be openly adoring their girlfriend, like worshiping the girl she walks on because she probably does a lot for him. But the are scenes. they adoring her or adoring the stuff that she does? Mm, very good no, question. No, they should Charlie. be adoring her. Give for it. the stuff that she does. No, just that. Yeah. That's Her in general. Because you said you have to say someone's yeah, going to yeah, be yeah. the adorer. Because yeah. I would say you both have to do it equally. Okay. But if you had to pick, a man should, man should probably be Adore more them. adoring. Yeah. As in like more loving, more, oh my God, this is my girlfriend sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Because a girl probably does more for For him. the man, yeah. Yeah. That's very that's, general terms though. That is general. That, that's yeah. based on my pro- own you're, relationship. You're probably right. Would you say oh, I come across yeah. like I'm more into Liam than he is to me? Or would you say it comes across equal? I would I actually would I would say it's probably <laughs> equal. I don't actually know though, to be fair. I think you show it more. You yeah, you probably show it more. Yeah. I I feel like behind doors Liam is more into you. But in, uh, yeah, I reckon I'm more openly mm. Yeah. But like say if say if you have but this is the same with most relationships. Say if you have an argument, yeah. I feel like he he's the one to grovel, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Back to yeah. you. Whereas like he he'll probably make out like, oh, on a night out, do you know what I mean? Oh well, forget it, man. I'm too cool, too cool for this. And then it it'll yeah. be like the first thing behind doors, like, oh I'm so sorry. Yeah. That's why he stri- yeah. strikes me. Be but I feel like that's baby. most men. Yeah, you know I, mean? I think They're it is more like gender mates, roles, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Mm. It is. But I personally feel like the man has to be more obsessed with the woman than the other way around. There has to be some reciprocation on yeah, the other side. Yeah, yeah. But in general, I like I've, even if it's like 60 40, I feel like it has to be the men 60 40 woman. Yeah. Mm. Also, I reckon statistically more men cheat. That's so. what that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. If the man feels like he's the um what it what is it? You know that tick uh, that 
people who have a podcast to say who's got the better looking or whatever. No. In, in the, you're not seeing that. No. They pull up pictures of couples and they basically say who's punching. That's that was the term punching. Oh really? Yeah. They so they pull up couples and they That's tell. Horrible. It's quite horrible. I would locally but, love to see what people say though. You, if you you can send in on email and they literally on <laughs> on like TikTok you will just see they'll go you'll send like five pictures of the couple. And then they'll go one nil to the, that person, <laughs> two nil, or one one or whatever. Christ. It's quite, it's quite funny to be fair. But you can't take it light hearted, I suppose. Oh yeah. But if the man feels like the woman is punching in the relationship, I don't think that relationship will last. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They'll think yeah. they're the dog's bollocks and just cheat. I think yeah. Mm. I think men will get more like I can they'll get, be more I can do what scared off if a girl's like really into them. Yeah. Whereas if a guy's really into a girl. Obviously, if it's not in a creepy way, yeah, just like yeah. being really Stalking. nice and stuff. Stalker vibes. Then girls are more likely to be like, oh my God, <clears> he's <throat> the one. Yeah. He's the one. Do you so. say that? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Shade. Um, but if you go back to like playground times, it's always boy chases girl. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Girl yeah. plays hard to get. That's the whole, that's how I see it anyway. But I might be yeah. quite far behind in my olden day times. <laughs> You're the type of person to like push a girl over. Yeah. Would you like if, if a girl made the first move on you? No. I you get, like get, that? Uh, no, I, I'd like it, but you get caught off guard. It's I a it's, first it's, move on me. No, it's a compliment. But if so, if a girl come on too forward to me, I'd be like, I'd be like, shit, I don't know what. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'd, actually, you do that. Uh, but if I, if it like remains like that, I could get comfortable with it. But like. You've got to think that rarely, rarely happens to men. I did that. Never Did happens. you? I made the first move on what, Liam. What, Liam? Then. Was this in real life, though? Yeah. Or, like, message? Our first kiss. Because it's different on message. Oh, was it? First kiss, I went in for it. Shit. Liam's a little... Um, we'd been little... we'd been friends for, like, two years, so I was... I was but I was drunk, so... Uh, I went was in. a weird time. Was yeah, it? Yeah, we, we don't go further than that, but... Oh, who okay. made the first move with you? Kyla. I reckon Kyla, yeah. yeah. Wow. You're Time, surrounded by strong to, women. Times are changing, I you suppose. Oh, yeah. yeah, true. Times are changing, which I kind of li- like it, though. But no, because it's... um <laughs> kind of like but, it, but no. No, because I was just thinking, like, right now, the reason the generation is so fucked, obviously, you guys can't relate because you're in a relationship. But as a single person now... It's okay. Single person now, if you're going to a club, girls expect... Boys to make the first move, but boys don't want to come across creepy, so they don't make the first. There's move. a fine line. There's there's a fine line. Boys don't want to make the first move because they don't want to come across creepy or too confident or mm. whether girls are waiting for them to make the first move, and then they're like almost scared to make the first move as well. So you've yeah, just got that. I feel like that's why nothing really happens. It's now. hard when you're drunk because in a club it's different, isn't it? But day to day you've got to have like a you be able to tell if a girl's into you or not. Yeah. In a Club, yeah, but like, some people can't. Like, they really I can't. Really yeah, don't get that though. I'm, oh, I'm really bad at reading. Oh, but yeah. like, if you're in a club and you're dancing with someone, yeah, and you're like quite close to them, from a girl's point of view, that is enough to be that's, like. That's the biggest tell, is that? Yeah, for me, for me, this See, is just. Wait, is it when but, you say dancing close, like what? Is it grind, more like yeah, grinding, grinding, or is grind. it just like next to them? No, if you're like <laughs> shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> if you do oh. 50 50 shoulder bars, then no. I'm no, saying. like, if you're like. If she's pretty much on you. Yeah. Or you're yeah. looking at each other and dancing together. Yeah, that's what I mean, like, <laughs> mostly, mostly like face to face. Yeah. If mm. a guy goes in for a kiss, I, from my, like, experience, I wouldn't think that's creepy because I think I'm giving those signals. Yeah. If someone didn't kiss me, I'd be a bit like, weird. Liam, is she probably the only person I've made the move on? Is it? Unlucky, Liam. Um, why is that unlucky? I don't know, actually, that probably that. is unlucky. That's a good actually. thing. Probably, probably yeah. lucky. I think men obviously just have to be more. Do you not... patient with it? Yeah. Feel yeah. it out because, a bit more. Like, it's a fine not to be mm. like, you don't understand women, but like, when mm-hmm. you're a woman in a club, yeah. it is scary. That's what. That's like, what... So you do have to be a bit like, ju- mm. you have to have judge people. If people, yeah. if someone's giving you the creeps, like, you might be completely innocent. And they might be like, he's a proper creep. That's what I've seen. Yeah. Though. But from a girl's point of view, that's such a fair point because so many men are creeps, especially in clubs. Yeah, from the girl's point of view, that's that completely understand. But if you if you're a boy and you're putting yourself in their shoes and you're like, Oh, she's she's just creeped out by me. You but don't that's know. What if I mean, I just Yeah, but if a girl's creeped out by you, she's not gonna be dancing face to face. But with I've you. I've I've seen that though. 
Wow. I've, I've really? literally seen... They've been dancing, like, up close, and then she's gone. They've been, like, talk, talking to... I wouldn't say dancing, but, like, talking and sort of dancing at the same time, having drinks, and then I've been told they found them completely creepy, and I'm like, fucking hell. Mm. I've got a question for you. Go on. Who is the creepiest person out of our friendship group? <laughs> What the fuck? From a girl's you, perspective. Probably you, to be honest. No, no. The creepiest person. Yeah. To so say if, like, if anyone went up to a girl, who would they find the most creepy? I don't want you to say this in thing. You you are, you've out? got to say it in the thing. You have to say I it. feel like you guys are going to say Jacob, but I actually have to say... I I feel like Jacob, no, I don't actually think it would be him because I, I think he only ever goes for girls when they're him. giving it back to yeah, him. Yeah, mm. yeah. I wouldn't say he's ever tried it on with someone that wasn't into yeah, him. Yeah, I feel like his radar's good, to yeah, be fair. Yeah, yeah. It is, to be fair. Yeah, I don't think it would be him. Yeah. So good that he just he turns w- away. <laughs> in, in fact, we saw the opposite happen. When a girl tried it on with him, he he walked away. He looks so awkward. Wow. Yeah. Because I think she was trying no, to... No, no, his... that's because we bullied him that holiday. Because uh, yeah, he hit 100... Oh, yeah. He hit 100 kg and we made him feel that oh, insecure. <laughs> we made him feel that insecure. Some girl tried... We actually I are. No, One I realise that. One of my biggest, that. actually, things I hate is weight. <laughs> like, weighing people. Because it's so irrelevant. Oh, it is, yeah. Like, I'm like 70 mean, kilograms, 75 kilograms. Yeah, oh, weight shaming. Yeah, or? I wouldn't say I'm overweight at all. Get on the BMI. Then we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always say. Send it to my mum. But do you know like, what I mean? Get on the BMI. Do you not think? Like, everyone carries weight differently. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, Jacob's not fat by any means. No. He's just quite heavy. But even, yeah, but that doesn't That's mean it. he's fat. So he probably felt so sad. He actually he funny to see Because I, I can't remember who they were trying to dance with. And then someone moved Jacob there. Yeah. And then she was like really trying to take Jacob for like pretty much the entire night and he just sort of turned away and he looked so awkward. He was like, oh no. And then we bullied him after, after and he was just like, lads, leave me alone. <laughs> that was, it was too, like that on was Halloween. too far. Halloween. Yeah, Halloween. Halloween. Halloween what? When we were, everyone was like grabbing his ass while he was making oh, yeah. out. <laughs> I wasn't doing that. <laughs> Liam, thanks, Liam. That's such a, that's such a cop block. That's a great that photo of me. Um, I think it's like me and Liam. I think it and is. Jacob's, Jacob's like making out with this girl behind the him. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you abused him for Halloween for no reason. I was just taking photos. Oh, snob. That was <laughs> fucking horrific. That was it was wasn't sweaty. It was yeah. clammy. Taylor nearly got into a fight as well. Jesus Christ. They were arseholes, though they were. Well, no, yeah. He's had to stop me. He must be the mediator. But then but he's not the... he is. He's the one who does the worst one. Out of nowhere. But Joe's going will go for like staff. Yeah, like at that bar in Prague. Yeah. <laughs> he goes oh. for bouncers. I'm like, what? It's because oh. I think if they say you're too drunk, he gets it's like personal. Yeah. He's like, yeah. no, I'm not drunk. No, I'm not. But then the next morning he'll be like, I was fucking hammered. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have always wanted to have a fight though. You are. I've always wanted to have a scrap. Have you? Heard? I've never had a proper fight. Wow. Would you be a puller? You hair fucking up? caused one. When? <laughs> what? In Beaudley. Oh, but with Can you? we not talk about that? I've erased it from my brain. <laughs> one of those. You, just... <laughs> you you said you want to get a scrap. In yeah, a I scrap. do actually. I don't understand. I'd that. rather get in a scrap with a guy though than a girl. We were because I can't do anything really, can no. I? True. Well, I don't mind if they try and hit me back, but it's just more fun if it's a girl. Yeah, but if they if they hit you back, you, they'll just get swarmed. Girls are just no because someone will, if I fight if I like fought a girl in a club, she'd probably rip all my hair out, scratch mm. my eyes out. That's so why you just got to knock her out one yeah. punch. Yeah. She as head soon as she goes for the hair like that, you just fucking <laughs> land one on the chin. Exactly, yeah. Imagine Cheltenham racist guys. <laughs> Next week we are going. If you're going, we'll see you there. Hopefully, um. We're definitely going to get recognised, you know, the Good Day podcast. Well, yeah. I won't be there, so. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting. Half of it. I'm so sorry. Half the Good Day Sad. podcast. Yeah. Sad times. But how much are you going to spend, Aoife? Um, I think I've put £10 a race. How many races are there? Oh, this... Not more than 10 Okay. I've said 5 or £10, but maybe 5 actually, because I'm going to do those. I'm going to do one that's... Crazy that. Mm, right. Crazy. Just outrageous one. Yeah, just like the returns like a hundred grand or something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you'll get one that no, me but, but um every and then, horse to win. Yeah. <laughs> to draw on the Well, line. some of them you just you win if they place, don't you? So Yeah. Yeah. How in many horses are in a race? You know, Twelve. Not a clue, not, not a, a clue. clue about horse racing. What's your lucky number? Six. 
you're going to go six every time? No, I'm going to pick the one with the best name. I just normally play it safe and either pick uh, the one with the worst odds. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. No, not the worst. Oh. The, well, the, the best. best. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, the most what? To, to me, the worst odds is like the, the, least, one, yeah. you, the least you win. So yeah. if you put a 10 quid in, you could the only get like yeah. 15 quid back. Yeah. I normally go some somewhere <gasps> like the top three favourites, basically. Oh, no. Seven per day. Sorry. Seven. Seven races. Seven races. Yeah. So you're going to... Probably put ten, so seventy quid. You put five aside. or ten, depending yeah. on how costly the drinks are. Fair enough. Be expensive. Have you heard yeah. about how much the Guinness is? Seven quid. Twelve. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Twelve. I'm glad I'm not going. Okay. Uh, how much would you put aside if you was going? Couple hundred. Couple hundred. Couple hundred. Christ. Could, could put that sheet, but I couldn't. You could, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, not, I'll I'll, I'll, I probably will. Put... Are you like sponsored by them? What crypto? Yeah. I no. Fucking wish. We're just financial. <laughs> we're not financial advisors. Yeah, but if we were to put our money somewhere... <laughs> I would put it in Sheba. Sheba, Sheba, Sheba. And Sheba. Do you know, to the moon. how do you, like, get money back, though? Or do you just lose it all? No, you don't. You don't understand... Right, stop saying this, because you don't understand how it works. <gasps> You've lost two grand! Didn't just two? I thought it was one. Well, he was up to two. You were saying? Yeah, I put a grand oh, in. You got lost a grand? Got... Well, we lost... Yeah, we didn't... Net lost a grand. Yeah. Well, we didn't lose two grand, did it? It was at two grand. Yeah, at one. you still lost a grand. Yeah, life's life. Well, why wouldn't you, why don't you just Different put it times. in a savings account with oh, good interest? Yeah. Because that but shit. But then it's guaranteed. But it's shit interest. It's, it's not. 4% a year. Uh, 6%. 6%. That yeah, nothing. but 6% is good my if plan, you're consistently putting is money in it. It is better to gamble quid. than oh, to yeah. invest in crypto. It's come down again now, but no. Yes. Uh, it's not. It is. <laughs> they, don't, they don't understand. We're in a fucking bull market. You don't. Good do, luck, guys. You don't need to exp- Thank you. When you put it in crypto, broke, take it out, and then I'll put it in the S&P When you get broke, we're going to laugh at you. Okay. That's fine. Sure. Okay, cool. As long as that's agreed. Yeah, <laughs> that is fine. agreed. I, honestly, <laughs> I, I don't you won't know if I'm 50 grand down or 50 grand up. That's, that's okay. the thing. Uh, well, you okay. might actually, because yeah, if I've gone on say. if I've gone on four jet skis in Tenerife, you might know. Or if I've gone on how, minus four. How do you... Earn money though on it. Prices change. Yeah, and then can you take your money out? Yeah, yeah. at any point. Any yeah. point. Yeah. Okay. Any second. So if you got like, doubled your money, you could just take it out. Yeah, yeah. Mm, You could take the money. But you out. could also lose a grand. So good. Yeah, but you won't. You could also. And you did. You you could, could, yeah, on Luna. To <laughs> you be could fair, also. But... You could also lose your job. You could also set up a business and lose. Well, when you win all your money. Out. Buy Kayla lots of presents. Cool. No, you can't now because she's put you down. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, if you get 80 grand, Don't. get a packet of McCoy's. Yeah, I'd... what what five is one? <laughs> McCoy's. That Go would on. be no, nice. McCoy's for you, okay. Bad. Fair enough, fair enough. McCoy's are like the worst, Chris. No, they're it? not. What, McCoy's? Hula hoops. <laughs> I'm such a hula hoops fan. Oh, I'm a red yeah. salted hula hoops fan. I don't want to eat hula hoops. Oh, right, it's such a child. Right, yeah, You're also eating fucking hula hoops. What? Hula hoops are the best. No, they're not. They are. They're not the they best. Are she just so puts them on her fingers at lunch. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> and then sticks them in the sandwiches as well. You know? Yeah. Have you ever done that? Yeah. yeah. You just stick them in. And then there's like a little hole. <laughs> it's like a sandwich, Chris. That's what nice. I do. What I found out is no one has an original life. Everyone, yes. everyone lives yeah. the That's same what life. That's TikTok teaches you. It was like, I reposted the video that said, uh, it was like me saying goodbye to every hotel room I ever stay in it. Yeah. I was like, I thought I was the only person that does that. I think we should wrap it up. Yeah, I think yeah. we should wrap I it up. Like the- Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you, Aoife, for coming on. This has been a... Uh, <laughs> An episode. Uh, an episode. I'll tell you, no, it has actually been a good episode. There's just probably going to be a lot of cutting. So don't be surprised if this is a 20 minute video. Hopefully, yeah. you all enjoyed. Aoife, thanks for coming on for the 100th time. You're welcome. Um, hopefully, we see you for the 101th time. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Um, yeah. Anything else you'd like to add before we close up? No, I'm good. Thanks Gracias. for having me on. Yeah. No wow. problem. Thanks for coming on. Take it away. Scared the <laughs> shit out of me, that did. Um, please leave a five star review and like and subscribe and ring that bell. Ding, ding, ding. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.